Hey Fringsters, now in today's lecture we will be learning how to convert bytes object to a string object. Now let's go ahead and try to understand what is a byte string and then we will dive into the solutions to this problem. So as you can see at val underscore bytes is a byte string. Now why is it a byte string? This is because even though you can read the first three words that is please keep smiling. However, as you can see this part it is not in human readable form so that means we cannot interpret what this byte sequence represents so that's the purpose of today's discussion we will go ahead and convert this byte string into a simple string and try to visualize what this sequence of byte actually means now as you can see that in python whenever a string has the prefix b before it then this is how it is represented as a byte string before we go ahead and convert this into a byte string let us go ahead and simply find out what is the type of val underscore bytes so that should be bytes so let's go ahead and check that first and there we go as you can see that val underscore byte represents a bytes object now our task is to convert this bytes object to a string. So there are different ways of doing this. The simplest way of doing this is to use the decode method. Now before diving into the decode method, let us try to understand what is decoding. To understand decoding, you have to understand what is encoding. So encoding is the process of converting human readable data into a specific format for secured transmission while decoding is just the opposite of encoding that is it is the process of converting the encoded information to normal text that is it will convert an encoded information in a human readable format so let's have a look at this diagram as you can see that this part right here that is the byte string is not in human readable format but when we go ahead and decode it, it becomes a normal string. And then we can read the characters represented by the sequence of bytes you can see in this part that is in the yellow box while the black box represents the normal string. Similarly, when you go ahead and encode this normal string, it becomes a bytes object. Now I hope that you have a clear idea about what is encoding and decoding. So let us go ahead and find out how we can actually perform the decoding operation. To perform decoding, you simply have to go ahead and use the decode method which is already available in Python. Similarly, to encode a normal string, you can simply use the encode method. So let's go ahead and use our decode method. Now as you can see that I'm using a variable val underscore str which will store the normal string and how do we store the normal string to store it we simply use the variable which stores the byte string which is val underscore bytes dot and then we use the decode method and within the decode method we pass the encoding standard which is utf8 in this case as the parameter now this can be utf16 latin 1 depending upon the standard that you want to follow that is the encoding standard that you want to follow now let's go ahead and print this val underscore str and let's find out what we have as an output also let's go ahead and print the type of val underscore str which we are expecting to be a string okay so let's execute this and there we go as you can see that now we have the plain string and this is a smiley as you can see and the type of this string is str that is it is of the string type so this is how you can use the decode method to convert a byte object to a string object now the next approach to convert a byte object to a string object is to use the str method so what is this str method it is simply an inbuilt method in python which helps you to convert an object which is of a certain data type to an object of the string type so that's all it does now if you want to dive deep into the str method in python then we have an entire tutorial on this if you are on the blog itself that is if you are watching this video lecture on the blog itself then you can simply go ahead and have a look at the blog attached 
and go through the entire tutorial on the str method and if you are watching this tutorial on youtube then please have a look at the description below wherein i'll provide the link to dive into the str function in python now let's find out how we can use the str method and convert a bytes object to a string object let me clear out the screen okay now let's say that we have a byte string text and before we do anything else let's go ahead and let's check the type of text which should be bytes and there we go as you can see that text is of the type byte so this essentially means that this string right here is a byte string that is it is a bytes object so let's go ahead and convert it into a string and we will store the string in our variable res and then we will use the str method and within this we will pass couple of parameters the first parameter is text which is the byte string or the byte object itself and then the encoding standard which is utf8 so that's it that's how simple it is now let's go ahead and print the type of our variable res and let's find out what's the output and there we go as you can see that res is of the type str that is it is a string object okay now previously we saw how we can use the decode method to convert the bytes object to a string object now we will find out how we can use the decode method of the codex library to perform this task so before we use it let's go ahead and try to understand what is it so the decode method of the codex module in python helps us to convert a byte string to a normal string so that is exactly the purpose of our discussion today and to use it you simply have to import the codex module and then use the decode method from it so let's go ahead and try to understand how this works as you can see that we have our byte string stored within the variable val underscore bytes and before we can use the decode method of the codex module we first need to import the module so import codex and now let's go ahead and create a variable res and within res we will store the string object by converting val underscore bytes into a string so to do that we will simply use codex dot decode and then we will pass the byte string object which is val underscore bytes now let's go ahead and print res let's also go ahead and print the type of res so let's see what happens once we execute this and there we go as you can see that instead of the encoded string we now have a smiley which is in human readable format while res is also a string object as you can see that the output is str that is it represents a string object so that's how you can use the decode method of the codex module to convert a byte string to a string object now we will go ahead and have a look at a different example so let me go ahead and clear out the screen okay so let's say that we have a list where where we have the numbers 68 51 and 90. now this is where it gets interesting let's say that 68 51 and 90 represent the ascii values and we have to convert them into the corresponding characters so that means we want the output to be t which is the character representation for the value 68 3 which is the character representation of the ascii value 51 while z which is the character representation of the ascii value 90. so let's go ahead and iterate through the items of our list where so for i in and i'll then use the enumerate method and i'm primarily doing this keep a count of each iteration now you will understand why i am doing this when once i move inside the for loop before i do anything inside the for loop i first have to convert these ascii values to their character representations so in a way i am once again going ahead and converting a bytes object to a string object 
So that's why I took the help of this example. It is a bit different from the other examples that we discussed so far, but it deserves a mention in this topic because you can also come across these situations and it is always a good idea to understand how to deal with a problem in every possible way. So to convert this variable where or the items of this variable where to their character representation, I will take the help of couple of built-in methods in Python, which are join and map. So let's say that I'll store the result in a variable named s and now I'll use the map method which will simply go ahead and help me to convert items of the list variable where to their character representations. So to denote that, I simply have to use chr. So that means I am essentially telling Python to convert all the items of the list where which are in numeric forms that is they are represented with their ASCII values and I'm asking Python to convert it to its character representation. Now all I need to do is to go ahead and use the join method to concatenate the elements of this iterable. So this will essentially store that is S will essentially store D 3 Z. Okay. So we now have our string and all we have to do now is to go ahead inside our for loop and then print I which represents each element of the list where and then let's use something like this and then let's go ahead and print the value of the string S at the nth index. So that's why I use the enumerate method because n will help me to keep a count of each iteration. That is, it will help me to track the index for this string. So in the first case, when n is 0, d will be extracted. Then in the second case, when n is 1, 3 will be extracted. And finally, z will be extracted. So let's go ahead and execute this and let's find out if this works or not. And there we go. This is the output that we expected and this worked perfectly fine for us. So I hope that this discussion helped you. And with that, we come to the end of this lecture. And if you have any doubt, please mention them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.